hadn't played Minecraft for a while, and I decided to give it give it a, another go. And before I did, I wanted to start by modding it the lo version 1.8 of Minecraft, and it wasn't uh, as easy as I thought it might be, mainly because it's uh, can be hard to find the right versions of the files that are compatible with each other, as well as navigate through the uh, the minefield of spam sites that are out there. In the end it turns out that it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. There are a couple of gotchas which I'm going to explain. And to start with we'll just discuss um, which files we're going to uh, install. The first one we want to install with Minecraft 1.8 is Minecraft Forge. And we just click on uh, version 1.8, show all downloads. And the one we want is version 1.8. 487 and download it from the installer here. This allows us to uh, run other mods, uh, the main one being World Edit. And the second one we're going to download is uh, called Optifine. And Optifine allows us to change, improve the graphics of, of Minecraft, which we certainly want. And uh, for version 1.8, HDU D5, just grab the, uh, the first download button here and uh, just navigate past the, the ads and to get to the, the install program. And we also want to improve the graphics with some shaders. Um, you'll find the link down the bottom of the page here for uh, shaders mod. This is for Minecraft 1.8 as well. And uh, a good shader pack is this one here, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. As you can see the improved graphics. And you just follow that link. World Edit uh, is great for editing Minecraft quickly. The latest uh, build here is World Edit 6.1. Click on that that link. Uh, another program which helps with World Edit is World Edit CUI, the client side user interface. This allows you to visualize what you're doing while you're editing in the program. And you'll find the link just down here. This requires Lightloader, and Lightloader not only works with the uh, the world that uh, mod there, but it uh, has a lot of other programs that you can install with Lightloader has a great uh, interface and this is the latest build here uh, 1.8 snapshot and I use the EXE version and also to improve the menu, the look of the menu in Minecraft you can install this resource pack it's called Chroma Hills and I grab the uh, second link here and once you've got all the, uh, the files downloaded the first one we want to install is Minecraft Forge but before we do that, so it's recommended that uh, we create a new profile and give the game a spin in its uh, default mode. So we're going to go new profile, we'll call this 1.8 and we're going to use release 1.8, give that a save. And play the game just as it is for a few minutes or a minute. And here we have the vanilla version of Minecraft. we need to do to uh, make sure that the files are up to date. It does actually download a few files the first time it runs. So now that we know that Minecraft is up to date we can install um, the forge. We just double click on the jar file, make sure it's pointing at the Minecraft folder which is uh, normally on the C drive, users folder, username app data roaming dot Minecraft. As long as it's pointing there in an install client we just go OK. 
and it's installed um, one version 1487 into the launcher. Now a little bit of confusion here is that um, Optifine and the Shaders mod are both installers and we actually don't want to install them so just um, you know say cancel we, I mean don't install them. What we actually want to do is grab the uh, Optifine, the Shaders mod, the World Edit and also this World Edit CUI uh, these four here, we just copy them, we head off to the Minecraft folder and we're looking for the mods folder. If it doesn't exist you can create this one here and just paste them straight into there. And that's all we need to do. Other mods, if you download other mods, place them in here as well. The Minecraft Forge will find them and you'll be able to install them from this folder. The other folders, um, the resource packs go in this folder here and the shader packs go into this one here. So we might as well do that now. So we'll grab the resource pack Chroma Hills, just copy, paste that in there. And we'll grab the shader pack and paste that into the shader packs. Now the next thing we want to do is install the light loader. This allows us to then run the world edit CUI. So we double click on the EXE here and we need to choose which version we're going to extend from. We're going to extend from the the forge version 1487 and make sure it's pointing at the Minecraft folder all we need to do. We can give it a new profile name as well so we'll just go call this um, full mods. We successfully created the full mods version and now we can open up Minecraft. Once it's loaded the profiles We choose the full mods version, and you can see that it's uh, the version it's going to use is the light loader with Forge. That's all we need to do. It's just make sure that's pointing in the right direction. Click play. This is the new loading screen for Minecraft Forge. With the mods installed we can see the resource pack for Chroma Hills with the new menu. My Minecraft Forge and Optifine are installed. We have a new mods button here and what we want to do is select world edit, click done and in the options you can see that all the uh, options for Optifine are in as well as a shaders folder that has automatically selected the Zeus shader pack over on the side here we have the light loader which has automatically selected world edit CUI and made it active version of Minecraft with the shaders installed. Looking a lot better. And to test that World Edit is installed and working correctly, we can type in forward slash jump to. 
and there we go. You'll find links to all of the programs required in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.